Okay, let's look at the Spitfire 9 in IL-2. And I'll show you what I'm talking about with some of this stuff. So we need the, uh, right, we need the turn and slip indicator there. Much at full throttle here. And, okay. No side slip, no roll. <laughs> Nothing. Pull the power back to idle. Power's at idle, no side slip, no roll. Full throttle, it rolls a little bit, right? And now it rolls a little bit, but only because of the side slip. As soon as I take the side slip out, no roll at all. So for adverse yaw, Actually, they're, they're tricking you in this sim because the side flip indicator is off by a factor of 10. Like right now it says we have, I don't know, like, okay, watch, watch my heading. Okay, where, where, where's my heading? 325? apply some rudder but let's let's get like 20 degrees of side slip watch how much the heading changes like it'll be like two degrees I'm gonna go right rudder right now okay there's there's 20 degrees right there look at heading only changed two degrees that's it so when you're doing a roll and you see the side slip indicator go, you know, 15, 15 or 20 degrees, you know, the indicator is correct. Like that's what the airplane should be doing. 15 to 20 degrees of side slip coming out of a roll, but really you're you're only getting like two degrees. So it's like 10% what it should be and um, I think if they made it real like really realistic like accurate nobody would fly it so they're kind of tricking you a little bit by making the indicator read correctly but the airplane's not doing what the indicator says it's doing and, I, and that's on purpose. I don't think that's a bug. I think they're, they're doing that on purpose. Because they know if they actually made the airplane slip 15 degrees, like it would be so sloppy, you know, nobody would even fly it. <laughs> Pretty sure. So 
So also in this sim, I think the um, so if I if I do so, like a double rudder kick, I'll go left rudder, right rudder, and then we'll watch watch the oscillations. So like, let's go left, right. So the, the, the dampening is about right, you know, like it's about two cycles to dampen out. But it's way too fast. Like it's, the, the, the period is too short. You know, the frequency is too high, the, the period is too short. It just oscillates too quickly. What's the reason for that? I don't know. But compared to DCS, like DCS is better in that regard. It's much more accurate. Um, and also the, ro the roll rates in this sim seem a little high to me, a little fast. Just a little bit fast on the roll rate for most airplanes, especially the Mosquito. I did an IL-2 video for the Mosquito and a DCS video for the Mosquito. But yeah, that's pretty much it for, the, for this. So let's go fly the spit in DCS. See what that does.